Tark, I'd love to go back to you because I thought the most intriguing part of your piece in the New York Times is the impact this is going to have on the transfer market. Explain that. Yeah, I, Mr. Seifert, the, the Bundesliga CEO, he's, he's, he's of the view that the transfer market will, at least in the short run, totally collapse. There is no market as far as he's concerned. Um, with a caveat that he suggested, and these are the only, only, only the few real gems, um, the, the players that everyone wants, handful, there may be a market for those. And the reason is interesting. Uh, on one hand, you have a, a cash flow situation. Like this is a, a stoppage we haven't seen since World War II. And that's not really a fair comparison either. Football today, the commercial behemoth that it is, is nothing like it was in, in the 1930s and 40s. The billions of dollars uh, have seized up essentially now and, and clubs are worried. And it's also, he said, um, uh, perhaps a wake-up call for clubs in the sense uh, they, the, the market has always been going up. Um, now the tide has gone away. You can see he's wearing trousers. Um, the, the issue is fear as well. So people are going to be wanting to save money for a rainy day. So it's not only the transfer market. You're looking at player salaries as well. I'm not sure we're going to be seeing continued um, uplift in that, maybe not even the same values at all uh, for, for a while. Um, and, and, and the issue with the pandemic as well, with the coronavirus itself, wherever we're, we're all on this call on, on these new applications, we're not going outside. Um, and we don't know when we can. We're, we're waiting for these daily government updates. But there is no vaccine. There is talk that even once we start going out again, what happens if this comes back later in the year and we're again pushed into this house? The clubs are going to have to cut their cloth uh, differently and, and, and think differently as well. So he doesn't see big money being splashed in the summer like, like we've seen every year for the past however many years. John, it's interesting. We've heard the phrase flatten the curve regarding the pandemic and the coronavirus. However, you could argue that the flatten the curve or even downward curve is going to happen in the transfer market. I just, John, when I think of the transfer market and only a select few being sold, for me, that seems like it only suits the 3% of the world clubs and the rest of the 97% are going to be left behind. Yeah, that, I think pretty much if you're looking at super clubs and super players, so Jaden Sancho, for example, very marketable at the moment, of huge value still in even what would be a very depressed transfer market. And the stories about him going to Manchester United, for example, won't go away. He's been linked with other big clubs. And I think there's every chance that deals like that go through. But if you're a middle of the road Premier League club or lower half Bundesliga, I don't see you undertaking any sort of transfer activity. I mean, the only things you're going to do are to get a few players out and off your wage bill if you can, and also possibly not to re-sign some of those coming to the end of their contracts that you might have given an extra year to because you just don't want to be carrying that financial liability. So I think for the first time in living memory, it's going to be a bad time to be a professional footballer's agent this summer. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.